Imagine being stuck in a relationship you feel like you've outgrown. Hmm. On today's case, Ms. Ariola says she's tired of the defendant's excessive drinking, emotional immaturity, and general untrustworthiness. There was a time when Ms. Ariola wanted to build a family with the defendant, but she now wants him out of her home and as far away from her as possible. Can Mr. Perkins crawl back into Ms. Ariola's good graces? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Ariola versus Sears Perkins. Excellent, thank you. Ms. Ariola, Mr. Sears Perkins. Ms. Ariola, you came here today because you say your boyfriend is not taking your relationship or his health seriously. You say he's more worried about drinking alcohol, partying, and cheating than being a good partner and building a foundation for your family. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sears Perkins, you say you're tired of feeling like you need to change to fit into Ms. Ariola's idea of what a good man should be. That you are a young guy living your life, but you want a girlfriend to loosen up and just enjoy life with you. Yes, Your Honor. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so, Ms. Ariola, the floor is yours. Your Honor, I am here today because I am up to here with David. You know, his drinking is out of control. His priorities are beyond off. And I feel like I've outgrown him. And Mr. Sears Perkins? Yes, Your Honor. Um... To be honest, I'm here today because I want to save my relationship. Sometimes I just party a lot, like, but I'm young, so I just be trying to tell her no one is perfect. And, like, I rap, so it's like a lot of stuff come with this lifestyle. Well, you brought a witness today who is going to join us a little later, Mr. Ronald Walker, but I want to get the story from Ms. Ariola. Ms. Ariella, what has actually brought you into the courtroom today? Your Honor, he's not the same person I've met in the beginning. You know, he just started drinking out of nowhere. Mm. I don't know where it came from. He just started drinking, partying, worried about his friends more, you know, spending less time with me. And you guys live together, correct? Yes. So, in other words, before you lived together, during just that dating time period, he was a different man? Definitely. As I like to say, you know, the first few years, you're dating his agent. Now you've got the real client. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely, Honor. <laughs> yes, yes. And so, Mr. Sears Perkins, it looks like when the agent went on the road, the real client showed up. So, what's been going on? What changed? Um, to be honest, I feel nothing changed. Like, I, I feel like I've always been the same. Like, it just, um, I actually, I feel like it changed, like, when I got, because I had got shot by accident recently, so... Whose gun? Like, I'm not really too sure. Like, a person, like, had on a ski mask. So, like, I really wasn't too sure. So thank I God just... you're alive. Yes, I thank God every day since that day. So, I feel like that kind of changed me because, like, I have PTSD now, so I just be, like, going through stuff mentally. So, Mr. Sears Perkins, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, to have gone through a traumatic experience... Um, you decided that you would go in and just live the 20-something-year-old's life, whereas mm -hmm. Ms. Ariola's attitude clearly is right. life is not promised, so we need to be planning for our future. Am I right, Ms. Ariola? Yes, Your Honor, you're completely correct. Um, one day, he was supposed to be at work. He was supposed to be at work. And I called him, you know, and I hear in the background loud noises, music, all types of things. And I'm like, aren't you supposed to be at work? You know, like, what, what's going on back there? And he's like, oh, I'm at a cookout. Please come. And I'm just like, okay, so you lied about going to work. Interesting. So I get to the cookout. He's there belligerent, drunk, oh. acting a fool, standing on the cookout tables, you know, just acting a fool. And everybody's just looking around like... Who is this, you know, you know? And I was embarrassed because, you know, that's my boyfriend, you know, acting a fool, drunk, sloppy, all over the place. What's that about, Mr. Sears Perkins? I feel like it was last minute, so I didn't really, like... My yeah. mind was all over the place, so it was like... Why your mind always all over the place? His PTSD. Like, I got PTSD, so that's, that's really not my excuse because that's real fact, so... I understand that, and what are you doing and who are you seeking help from? To be honest, I'm my own therapist. No, you're not. The, mm. you, the first thing you said to me was, and I wrote it down, we're young. Mm. So that should tell you right there you're not your own therapist. 
because mm. you're young. And PTSD is a real thing. It's not a joke. Mm. I, and I have no doubt that you probably do have a level of PTSD because being shot is no joke. If you really do want to get some assistance to help you get through that trauma, then you are going to have to step up and you don't get to use I'm young as an excuse. Mm. Otherwise, you're going to stay in that same state. You do understand mm. what I just said? Yes, yeah. It was another incident, you know, the Super Bowl just passed. You know, we had a little gathering and here goes David drinking past his limit, like always. Here he go drunk, you know, and he's dancing around, acting a fool, and then he so happens to break the table. Mr. Sears Perkins, it sounds like you are developing a bit of a drinking problem. I feel like I'm over 21 years old, so I have the right and, like, I'm over the drinking limit, mm -hmm. so I feel like... No, you're, you're over the age limit. The Lord knows you don't need to be over the drinking limit, okay? <laughs> Being over the drinking limit couldn't get you arrested. I just feel like I shouldn't have to be babysitted and referring to the Super Bowl party. I was getting sturdy, so I accidentally, like, you know, knocked the table over. I kind of broke it, but... I just feel like I was just getting sturdy, to be honest. So, okay, getting sturdy, that's another one, Robert, we got to put in a repertoire. I'm assuming that means... Like dancing. Getting, having a good time. Yeah. Getting your party on. Yeah. Okay, I did well with that one, Robert. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah. So, while, while Mr. Sears Perkins is getting sturdy, you are saying you he's acting go. like a fool. Yeah, like, you, you gotta go. Completely embarrassing. He lost his phone. So I let him use my phone, you know. He logged in social media and he forgot to log out. So, you know, I'm in the supermarket, my phone's going off. So I'm looking like I don't know these people texting me. So I went through his messages, the DMs. Yeah, you I about to get drummed out the brotherhood because brothers <laughs> all over America right now saying, dang, go on, you messed it up. It sounds like you all are on two different paths right now. Ms. Ariella, I know that you're concerned that some of this behavior is manifesting itself in him stepping out of your relationship and being unfaithful. Absolutely, Your Honor. Why don't you tell me about your concerns? After um, David had got shot and stuff, you know, um, I was there for him, of course. I never left his side, you know. During right. that process, he um, lost his phone. So I let him use my phone, you know, and he logged in social media through my phone, and it was one day um, he forgot to log out. So, you know, I'm in the supermarket, my phone's going off. So I'm looking like I don't know these people texting me. So I went through his messages, the DMs, I seen everything. He Ooh, that's so on you. Yes, he I'm gonna tell you, yes, yes. you about to get drummed out the brotherhood because brothers <laughs> all over America right now saying... <laughs> Dad, go on, you messed it up. Mm hmm Yes, definitely. He was talking to, like, multiple females. I can't count on my hands or toes. He was, you know, being flirtatious, you know, just selling these girls a dream, talking about, you know, he want to be with them, he going to take them out, you know, all types of stuff. Mr. Sears Perkins, I'm going to give you the opportunity. What you got to say? To be honest, I'm a changed man. And also, I explained to her, like, I'm an upcoming rapper, so, like, I have jewelry, I have a car. So a lot of those things attract females. Not saying that I go out actively looking, but I can't control, like, if a female or females contact me because of what I have or what type of career I'm partaking in. So it's not like I'm just going out actively. If someone writes me, then it's like... I told, I explained to her you beforehand... You have the power to not write back, but you was writing back, like, 20, 30 females. I explained to her beforehand how this lifestyle works. But you're living with Miss Ariola. You're involved with Miss Ariola. You're dating Miss Ariola. Thank you. Your responsibility when someone comes mm. to you is to say the things that I just said. Mm. I appreciate your attention. How you doing, shorty? But I got a woman. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that has been done on multiple occasions. It's just like... I'm talking about the occasions that it is not done it on. It has not <laughs> happened. That's what we are discussing right now. Because the one on the occasions that it is done on, we don't have a problem. Miss Ariella didn't come to court talking about them. We're in court talking about the occasions where you don't respond that you're involved with someone. Now, mind you, I want to be very clear about this to two of you. Mm -hmm. You're 24 years old. Yes. You are allowed to be 24. 
But what you're not allowed to do is to hurt somebody in that process if you're not ready for the relationship that you signed on to. I feel like, um, to be honest, she shouldn't go through my phone because that's, that's, that's basically invading my privacy. I'm never going to say that Ms. Ariola is doing the right thing, but again, when you put your information out there, I knew what this was going to lead to. She now has a reason to suspect that mm -hmm. you're doing something outside of the relationship, so she gonna snoop. So you need to learn how to put a password in there that is impenetratable by Inspector Gadget over here. So one day, you know, I'm going through the clothes, you know, separating dark from the light, and two condoms fall out. Were they used condoms? No. First of all, it makes no sense. We we don't use those, you know? We've been together for a while, and because they come through in a pack, where's the other one? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. What else is going on? Also, as of recently, you know, I do laundry. I do our like together, you saw one day, you know, I'm going through the clothes, you know, separating dark from the light, you know, um, and in his jeans, two condoms fall out. Were they used condoms? No, they were. They still, were in the package. Yeah, they were still in the package. Okay, so that's good. I was still in in shock. First of all, because they come through in the pack. Where's the other one? I have family members that's elderly, my grandmother, my aunt, etc. They give me condoms because they don't know about, like, my sex life or relationships, so they just always want me to be safe. So, at that time, they never gave me the pack. They gave me them single-handedly. Lucy's! Yes, basically. <laughs> so, it was never, like... That's why they wasn't open, because I wasn't but using why, them. But why take it if we don't use them? It, it, makes, it makes no sense. We, we don't use those, you know? We've been together for a while, and we trust each other enough. And it's like, why would you accept something you don't need? I feel Doesn't like I accept sense. them because I don't want to turn my family members down and just, like... That's just, like, how I am. I don't want to just blatantly tell my grandmother, no, don't give this to me. Oh, Granny is on and popping herself. She said, <laughs> you're going to be safe up in this piece here. Yeah, because she know, like, I rap and the lifestyle comes with, so she... She just gives them to me. I don't... It's just, like... I might just throw them out. That particular day, I probably just was tired and just threw... I'd be throwing my clothes in the laundry without emptying my pockets. Like, I leave money, all type of stuff in my pockets, so... Mr. Sears Perkins, I know that you brought a witness today. Robert, would you yes, mind uh, asking Mr. Walker to join the defendant at the defense table? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Walker, welcome. Yes, Your Honor. So, interestingly enough, I watched your face while the condom story was being told. And as you just did just now, you dropped your head and your eyes as if to say, I can't help you, dude. That one, that story's out of my jurisdiction. Uh-huh. So talk to me a little bit about this relationship. So, Your Honor, um, there's no doubt in my mind that she's here for him. Mm -hmm. As he mentioned earlier, he's been through a traumatic event which uh, almost took his life. Mm -hmm. She was with him every step of the way. But I would say that, yeah, Andrew, sometimes he comes off a little tough, a little rough. It seems like she's putting him down sometimes. I know he likes to enjoy himself, so... Okay, Ms. Ariella, you're shaking your head like, what are you even saying? I feel like he just be in our business a little too much. You know, it's like, just mind your business, you know? It's kind of annoying. Does he visit you all at the home? <clears throat> he don't visit, but it was a time where he did stay with us. He actually overstayed his welcome. How many days? It was about two weeks. Oh, and that's uh, about 10 days too long. Cause <laughs> like fish, visitors start to stick after mm -hmm, three days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was supposed to stay for a week. He stayed two weeks. So he was just there, you know, being David's little sidekick, as always, because one night we were arguing, you know, going back and forth. And he jumps in the argument like, oh, that's not how a woman's supposed to talk to a man. And all this extra mm -hmm. stuff, you know, sticking up for David. And I'm just like, Mr. Walker, like, you really need to mind your business. Maybe you should get yourself a girlfriend or something. I can guarantee you, Miss Ariola, 
with that beautiful face of yours, you did not say it that gently. Oh, no, 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 no. I was, yes, I was rowdy. I was very okay. loud. I was angry. Uh -huh. <laughs> I appreciate the decorum in the courtroom, but I can mm -hmm. appreciate <laughs> that you let him have it. Definitely. Mr. Walker, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Your Honor. You know, Mr. Sears Perkins, you said that you are really tired of feeling like you need to change to fit into that little box that Ms. Ariola wants her boyfriend to be in. You're an artist, you want to live that lifestyle, and you want her to be supportive. Is that correct? That is definitely true. Like, I don't have any problem with her. I think she's smart, intelligent, and she has been there for me. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's just like, I feel like she's kind of a control freak, so that kind of be, like, that lose me, like, that, that really lose me, to be honest, because, like, she tries to create this narrative that's not there. Like, a female had commented on my Instagram story that I didn't follow. She laughed at it. So then, um, the next day, Deandra had called me and <clears throat> accused me of being with the female. The whole time, I never even knew the female. She just commented because I posted a funny picture. So, basically, she was calling me, yelling and being mad. And That's I'm what happens her... when you're traumatized. I'm, I'm traumatized. I, oh, I, like, I literally always think I'm being cheated on. Like, all the time. You know, Mr. Sears Perkins, I appreciate your comments. Uh, Ms. Ariola, I appreciate your comments. I, I don't think in relationships people discuss enough mm -hmm. the perfect timing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if you all have heard the, see, the saying, there's a time, a reason, or a season <laughs> for mm -hmm. a relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, some people are in your life for a time or for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Some people come into your life for a reason. Um, I think Ms. Ariola was there so she could hold you down during that trauma. Mm -hmm. Some people come into your life for a season. That's <clears throat> just so you all can get through a certain thing and enjoy life together. But a lifetime, you all are not there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sears Perkins, bless your heart, you need to get that therapy that we talked about because that trauma that you went through was real. And you're never going to get that drinking under control until you deal with the trauma of having been shot, having almost lost your life. You're going to need to get that under control because no matter what lifestyle you end up leading, if you become the most successful rapper, every single one of them will tell you that drinking and drugging and partying and hanging out, that only works for a minute. Hmm. But you're not going to sell one record. You are not going to sell out one concert hall. You are not going to be one brand spokesperson for the long haul if that is your lifestyle. Take it from someone who's been in the business for 30 straight years. Miss Ariola, mm -hmm. there's a time for you to say, I need to cut my losses. Mm -hmm. And find someone who is at the place you are right now. Mm -hmm. You were in his life when he needed you most. Now go take care of yourself. Hello. Honestly, like, you gotta get out. It's like, quiet. Honestly. I'm not getting out. No, 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 for real. You, gangsta, you gotta leave, like, gangsta, for real. Cause I'm, I'm, no, I'm tired he, of you. I'm tired of you. Nicky no, Nicky no, Nicky, man, it's quiet. No, gangsta. No, no. You really gotta go. I'm so serious. You know, I, I, it's hard for us to pass judgment on somebody who is 24 and just obviously going through some trauma. But at some point, I'm glad Ms. Ariola basically said, it's enough is enough. Right. I mean, he'll find someone that, you know, that's gonna accept, you know, his, his, uh, you know, his job or whatever you want to call it. But his activities. His activities, but she's also going to find someone as well. And I want her to find someone that's at her level. Right. For real.